This video is going to be for anybody out there that feels like they do not have any control over their emotions. Listen to me. You need to have control over your emotions. You need to think before you react. As a wise man once said, a man cannot control his circumstances, but he can control the thoughts that shape his circumstances. And if you even want to take it a step further, that man can control the way he reacts to the circumstances that he faces in life. So keep that in mind as we go through this video. Learning to just control your emotions, learning to think before you act, all these things are going to be very crucial in your lifetime. Now, I'm not going to sit up here and act like that I haven't lashed out on anybody or reacted in a way that I didn't think was appropriate. No, because that's not that's not genuine. That's not authentic. I've made mistakes. I definitely have lashed out on people. I definitely have reacted a way that I didn't think was appropriate. I've done all these things. Everybody has done all these things. You know, nobody's perfect. We're all human beings in a third dimension but for the sake of the video yeah we're human beings but we're spiritual beings but anyway learning to just control your emotions this just comes with time man it comes with time and it comes with just learning to just be a man and just let things go man just let it go like don't hold grudges like i i, I realize like this is something that my mom even told me when i was a young kid like she told me, Tomas, I never hold grudges. I never I never use the word hate. I don't even like the word hate. Hate is a strong word. And when she told me that, like, it's always been ingrained in the back of my head. Like, never use the word hate. Hate is a strong word. And just don't hold grudges with people and just think before you act. And just learning these things as a young kid, it really helped me develop into the man that I want to be today. And this is why I want to preach this message to you guys because i feel like there's a lot of men out there that don't think before they react that don't you know really observe the situation from a bird eyes perspective and really look at the whole thing and just look at themselves from a third person's perspective you know there's not a lot of people that do that nowadays that's why we got a lot of young black teens going to jail because they shooting at people, they're committing crimes, they're doing all these things without even thinking, without even really taking a step back and, and observing themselves and really asking themselves, wait, why, I wanna, why do I want to kill my own people? Why do I want to kill my own brother? This guy looks exactly like me. Why do I want to rob this store? Why do I want to commit these crimes? Why do I want to uh, participate in these low vibrational acts? You know, so... That's why I wanted to come over here and preach this message because there's a lot of black young teens and not even just black young teens, but just people in general. But I'm, I'm majority aiming towards that, you know, demographic because I see it. I see it being a more problem with that demographic, with those people. They just don't think before they act. And it's unfortunate it's the way it is, but that's just the way it is. So. This is why I wanted to come on here, not to repeat myself, but I just don't want to see black teens pulling the trigger, and not thinking twice. It's it's bro. It's it's like, come on, we got to we got to cut that shit out. We got to talk to these kids. We got to let them know, like, hey, what are you doing? You're killing your own brother. You're killing your own kind. He's not the enemy. If you want to know the real enemy, the enemy is the ones that brought these guns into the hood, that brought these drugs into the hood, that put a that put a um alcohol store a liquor store a few blocks from your home that put a gun store in your own hood you know that put fast food restaurants in your hood if you want to be mad at anybody be mad at the oppressor so just like really just looking at life from a different angle and just thinking before you act that's that's all i really want to preach and i want to use an example too so using me as using me as an example right there's been times where I've been at work and people just give me the rudest, rudest attitude. And just people are, some people are just nasty. Some people that shop there are very nasty. So, you know, I'd have somebody say something to me. And at the, at the man, in the moment, it takes every nerve not to snap. But I realize like, hey, I'm at a job. I'm wearing red. I'm you know, actually working right now. So I can't be doing this. I can't be raising my voice. I cannot be acting harsh. I just have to 
relax, be mellow, be leveled out, and just give her, you know, a smile. Hey, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for doing that. I'm sorry that you cannot find what you're looking for. You know, if you want to talk to my manager, I can direct you to her. Uh, I can direct you to her. But if not, then I apologize and have a good day. You know, things like that. Just really learning to, to, to view the situation as a whole and just really asking yourself, is it really worth it? That's all, that's all you have to ask yourself. That's all it really comes down to is just asking yourself, is it really worth it with anything, with anything? If you, if it's a fight, if you're trying to, you know, instigate something with your brother or, you know, your brother's trying to fight you or somebody wants to fight you or, you know, whatever, ask yourself, is it really worth it? And this is another thing that I want to add in this video. So I was at my friend's house in Philadelphia and I saw somebody, I saw another one of my friends at the house and he was basically going off about what happened because there was a situation that he got involved with with another girl but there was one thing he said that really caught my eye and this is what i wanted to this is exactly why i want to make this video is this quote right here he said this if i get you mad and you react the way i want to that means i have control over you and when he said that i was like yo that's exactly what it is because if you, if you think about it right say if i make you mad if i call you a name that you don't like and it, and i get on your skin that means i have control over you i'm making you step out of your natural high frequency to stoop down to my low frequency and now we both match and now your force field is gone and now you're penetrated like you're you're vulnerable you're weak because i just got to you i got under your skin now I'm controlling you. Now I'm manipulating the way you feel. And you don't even realize that, right? So it's crazy. Like, that's that's very true. If I make you mad and you react the way I want to, I have control over you. So with everything that I said in this video, right? With the quote that I started off with, with this example that I gave you, the if, if you can't take anything away from this video, I just want you to take away this, right? The only person that should be ruining your mood, the only person that should be making you feel bad, the only person that should be making you feel angry is you. You should be the one that should be controlling the way you feel, not somebody else. If somebody calls you a name or somebody tries to dim your light or ruin your day by saying something that, that wasn't appropriate or that you didn't like, just look at it and be like, you know what? That's a reflection of you're just reflecting your insecurities onto me. And that's you're just hating yourself at this point. You're not you don't you're not hating me. You're in love with me. Not not literally, but you love me in a sense that you're even giving me your energy to even hate on me. So it's just a reflection of your insecurities and you're trying to portray that onto me. And I'm not gonna lower my I'm not gonna lower my vibration for you because I'm the only one that can control the way I feel. That's exactly how you have to look at it. And it goes deeper than this too. It goes deeper than people. It goes deep as social media. Social media controls the way you feel. When you're scrolling down and you see an article that you don't like and it brings your, it brings your mood down, that phone, the social media is controlling you in that situation. So really, really be observant of just the way people talk to you, the, pay, the way people react and the way people treat you and just really be observant of the way you feel. Always be observant of the way you feel. Always observe that. If you feel like somebody's trying to bring you down, don't let them bring you down. You should be, on the, you should be like I said, you should be the only one controlling the way you feel, nobody else. If I wanna be mad, I'm willingly putting myself in that situation to be mad. If I wanna be happy for the whole day, I'm going to stay happy. Nobody's going to take my happiness away from me. I can only take my happiness away from me. You get me? Is it starting to make sense? Is everything that I'm saying starting to make sense? So that's what I wanted to say. That's what I wanted to preach. And that's the message that I wanted to get out. Just learning to control the way you feel. This is what helps me, right? As soon as you start feeling like as soon as you, you start, you know, when you start feeling low, you know, when you can feel your vibration lower, you know, when you feel like somebody's trying to dim your light, you know, you know, you just know. As soon as you get that feeling, tell yourself three things that are positive. That's exactly what I do all the time. 
Somebody tries to make me mad, all right? In my head, I'm like this. Tomas, at least you have a car. At least you're making money. At least you're happy. And at least you have a YouTube channel. I tell myself not, not, I don't tell myself that all the time, but I tell myself three different things that make me happy. Three different things that I'm blessed to have. And that usually just makes me feel better. Or if not, just listen to music. Listen to a song that makes you happy. I just really want to preach this message because not only do I feel like there's a lot of people that are weak minded, but there's a lot of people that just don't think before they act. And that's just, it shouldn't be that way. It should not be that way at all. But with all that being said, if you guys let this video motivated, if you guys let's let, uh, phew, phew, phew. excuse me, it's been a long day. I've been playing basketball. I'm very tired. I'm burnt. I just wanted to get this video out there. So let's try that again. If y'all let this video motivated, if y'all let this video inspired, or if you let this video a better person, then I did my part. Other than that, peace, love, positivity. I love y'all. Take care of yourself. Peace.